So let us come back and do the next nucleophilic addition reaction. This is the last nucleophilic addition reaction where you are involving the carbon atom as well as oxygen atom. So after this, we will again see nucleophilic addition where your oxygen is lost from the carbon. Uh, carbon. So let us see the last part. So you know what basically is this reaction? I have to add an alcohol to an aldehyde. Now, the first important thing you have to remember is this particular reaction is shown only by aldehydes, not by ketones. Why? That also we will reason because basically I like reasoning questions like why, what, where. You have already seen, I think, no, every person should have this anxiety. What, why, where, means how. This, if you start questioning, right, you will get that answer. Once you get that answer, you feel happy. Okay, yeah, I know, I know this answer, or I'm happy, like I know the topic clearly. So, let us do that also. So, first, we will do first uh, reaction with aldehyde. So, I said ketones, let us write this ketones do not show the formation of hemi. Acetals and acetals with ROH. Remember this, I'll explain later. Now, I have to take an aldehyde. Let me take an aldehyde. This, this is my basic aldehyde, my favorite. When I take an alcohol, R minus OH. How does this break? As usual, this is going to cleave minus plus, correct? This is going to break into ne minus and this is plus. As usual, now observe, this is your negative part, this is your positive part. Your R comes in attacks here and your OH goes in attacks here. This whole thing should happen in the presence of dry HCl gas. Important. I'll tell you what is the role of dry HCl gas. What is the role? Now, once I form the further compound, I'll show you where is this dry HCl using. Okay, let me remember that and explain. Now, what product do I get? I have to explain two things. The product formation and role of HCl. So, let me write a box and keep it ready so that I show you the role. Dry HCl gas. Why should I use this? Now, when I take this product, how does this look? Carbon your CH3 here, your hydrogen here. Now, to the oxygen, what has got in, uh, got attached? Alkyl group, isn't it? This becomes OR, now the OH. Now, this compound is called hemiacetyl. First, hemi. Remember, most of the students write this is acetyl. No, OR, one group. This is hemiacetyl. Now, this is unstable. So, what happens? This further, you are going to introduce one more alcohol along with dry HCl gas. Remember this, right? Very important. If you are not writing this, please, I will tell you the importance. Then you will know why should you write that. Now, again, what happens? The bond is going to break here. Minus and plus, correct? Now, <coughs> first important thing is you are going, I, this is your OH, isn't it? Your site of attack should be here. What this hydrogen and this OH, understand? This hydrogen, this OH comes out as water. Loss of water is very important in this particular reaction, right? Students don't show this in the markings uh, exam paper. It's very important loss of water. When water is lost, this becomes minus, isn't it? Then R goes in attacks. What do you get? You get CH3, your H, your OR, and your OR. Now, this is called acetyl. Very important. Acetyl. Yeah. Now, I'll tell you what is the use of dry HCl. Basically, for conversion of the hemiacetyl to acetyl, there is an intermediate step where we call it as oxonium ion formation. Right. So, oxonium ion is formed here from here. So, this HCl is going to facilitate or it's going to help in formation of that oxonium ion. Without that HCl, the reaction will not proceed further with the because oxonium ion formation after that only it's going to form acetyl so dry HCl gas helps in formation of oxonium ion I can yes after that what also is also fair loss of pro water also there's loss of proton also if I say step by step so I can generalize it it also helps in loss of water right then only your acetyl forms so whenever you're doing alcohol try to break this bond try to cleave this bond c most of the students i'll tell you general mistake they write alkyl group as r minus and oh plus i don't know what sort of uh, this in cation anion please remember where to break so cation it goes and attacks the negative part it becomes or and the anion goes and attacks the positive part it becomes oh this is a semi acetyl this is acetyl right now 
suppose if i want back the caramel compound right what should i do i am going to do a process so just see now to get back or to retain or you know, get back the carbonyl compound yes i want this acid aldehyde back what do i do i am going to pick up this acetyl what am i doing take this acetyl ch3 again ch3 your or and or now try to dissolve it in or hydrolyze it right in the presence of hydrolyze it in the presence of a mineral acid fine immediately what happens just observe carefully your r how many r's are there one and two isn't it now can okay, i write h2 as h in oh okay simple let's observe carefully <coughs> your alkyl group two alkyl groups two r will come out right now your o and o also will come out along with this which one now what should i write i have to write this there's one hydrogen here there's one hydrogen here isn't it two r's two o's two hydrogens so what do i get two r's two o's two hydrogens now what is left out this is your oxygen which is left out that oxygen goes in attacks that carbon what do i get c i get ch3 no i should not write ch3 here now this is wrong ketones will not show i have to write what did i do here h only no yeah h right now ch3 your h and your c double bond now see your carbonyl compound is back so what happens your acetals again when you hydrolyze the in the presence of a mineral acid observe two r's two o's two hydrogens will come out and the leftover oxygen attacks the carbonyl carbon and again you get that aldehyde back so this process is used to retain that aldehyde back so please remember <coughs> very important hemiacetyl and acetyl formation correct now let us see why ketones are not showing this uh, alcohol reactions now uh, we'll see that question in the next video